Everything you're seeing here was generated by AI, and I'm going to show you how I did it. So let's go. The first tool is Luma AI's Discord, which you can use the slash genie command to generate 3D models. In this case, I generated Blue Eyes White Dragon, and then I also generated this wizard. And if you like one of these, then you can upscale it, which is what I did. So I clicked this button, and then you get a higher resolution model here. Next is Blockade Labs, which you can use to generate skyboxes. You just type in your prompt here, and you can select a style as well. And when you do this, you'll get a watermark on yours, but those ones I generated, I happened to generate before they added that. And for the music, we use a waveformer. This one, you just give it a prompt and generate music. You can specify how long. I did 16 seconds. For dramatic battle, it generated. Even some of the code was generated using AI. Uh, you might have tried to chat GPT before, but often the Godot code is out of date because Godot 4 is relatively new. Everything it uses is a Godot 3 syntax. So we use a find that's with a PH and it's basically Googling, but it provides the code for us here and then it smushes it all together for us at the end. And this is what I use to rotate the camera. And after importing all of those AI assets into Godot, this is what we end up with. So of course this doesn't have any actual gameplay, but it's still useful for generating assets. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.